Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can use the brush tool to get this effect uh, which I used on my, this year, uh, I used it on my speed at a green dream and it's really simple and really easy um, yeah, but I got asked by many people if I can make a tutorial for this so for first um, you're putting in your logo or uh, anything you want to add this effect um, then go to smudge tool is this uh, hand with this finger um, then go to brush effects uh, go to shape dynamics size jitter 100% minimum diameter 100% angel jitter 100% roundness jitter 0% and all is off and all is the control off and no flip x jitter and flip epsilon jitter but uh, it doesn't matter if you tick them both so go to scattering uh, the scatter I did it to 77% but you can make it to 80 or 50 it doesn't matter make it like you want it you will see it just test it how you like it the most then go to transfer um, strength jitter to 100% or just put it down to 70% uh, and yeah, control off, smoothing enabled, and yeah, then hide this thing. Just duplicate the layer you want to add the effect. Drag it under the main layer of your logo or something else. Um, then make the logo invisible, the main layer, and now you have the second layer click on it and now you be sure you are on the smudge tool and I'll just go on the stroke that you can make this effect so it's like this one everything like this so just follow this thing Make all that it gets a really cool look. And yeah, I want to make the background dark grey that I can show it to you. So yep, yeah, you will see better here. Um, you can make the smudge tool a little bit bigger if you want, like 60. Uh, and yeah, it's getting this effect. You can use it on every layer or thing you want so just make it like this go over it again and it gets a, um, a little bit better look and yeah make this to all stuff to all letters or to all things you added on your uh, on your thing you want to get this effect so if you are done doing this um, just enable the layer above it and you have this stroke or you you have this smudged thing there so if you want to get this better out just use the eraser make it small and just delete some oh was on the wrong layer um, tick uh, be sure you are on the topest layer and just erase some of the stroke there and then it's getting really cool look like this Uh, 
and there then you have this text really cool with this effect so yeah that's the most thing you can do to get this effect so yeah that was a really short and really easy tutorial um, I'm making a tutorial on how to make the basics uh, for a YouTube background uh, I think in about two to three days or on the weekend because now I'm finished with all the school stuff for this year and I have a lot of time now and yeah thanks for watching this tutorial um, if you liked it please leave a like or and a comment on saying what tutorial you want to see next or what tutorials you want to see of me or yeah whatever you want to see on my channel leave it in a comment and here that was the tutorial of this I hope you liked it please rate comment and subscribe um, and yeah you the best thing you you can use this match tool is with cloth brushes so you just select some cloth uh, yep, where they are here some cloth brushes and you can them with all cloth brushes so it looks really cool without all cloth brushes but don't make it bigger than 100 pixels if you make it bigger it gets really big the whole image and it don't look cool at the end so yeah peace